I'm meteorologist Peter Shearwood tracking more rain for this Labor Day. Those showers and thunderstorms are going to develop into the afternoon and some of them could come with some pockets of heavy rainfall. We're going to also watch the potential for flooding to take shape in some spots. It's going to be localized. It shouldn't be widespread as we head into tomorrow. We'll start off with some coastal showers as you guys head back to work in school and then those showers and thunderstorms moving inland for the afternoon along the sea breeze. We are going to keep rain chances in place as we head through the week, though it will come down ever so slightly. This boundary moving across North Florida will eventually stall out and because it's going to stall out, we will continue with our winds out of the south and the east. So plan for more rain to move through, but it's not going to be as heavy and it shouldn't be as widespread as what we saw for this weekend. 89 for the high temperature today and then 90 degrees as we head into Tuesday. Rain chances expected to come down ever so slightly by the end of the week, and because of that, our temperatures are set to heat up into the lower 90s, but feels like temperatures up into the triple digits where we cannot rule out heat advisories to go in effect.